Welcome to the YouTube channel for the Human Room Open Voice. Please take a moment and subscribe. Please do share this to your Facebook page and all your multimedia and ask your friends to do the same. This is a clip from one of the events and there will be several others and you could choose and watch them as you wish and it will give you an idea for you to understand stage one, stage two, and stage three. Please do keep an open mind. There are paradigms to come. Thank you. Just before I start, this is a poem. I don't normally do poems. I sing my songs, but this would not exist if it wasn't for CC and the Human Room Open Voice. I created it because of this day and I dedicate it to the success of this organization and to CC and all you folks that are making it happen. So this, this poem, I will read it to you now. Title, The Woodpecker's Tongue, The Crocodile's Jaw, and The Voice. Woodpecker. Woodpecker is prophetically wagging once more its tongue at me. And don't you know, as usual, he's as loud yet cautious as he can be. I whistle and back to his remarks, and he snaps his head around. Then Jack hammers a rhythmic rapid fire of resonant tree thud sounds. There is a wonderful sophistication in his expressions of simplicity. What a noble pleasure if I could understand him and he could comprehend me. But his song pattern and mine have no meaning for either of us, it seems. Simple sense locked away in the laws of nature, only imagined in our dreams. Ah, yes. I also wonder if that creature has woodpecker dreams. Are they of wood chopping or another friend's mischievous schemes or screams? Well, I try to connect again and aim some words at him and try to say a comment, a brief question, an exclamation, but he quickly darts away. Oh, if we only had the wisdom to understand the woodpecker's tongue, maybe we would have the special secret of life and stay forever young. Crocodile. A crocodile with his powerful jaw one of nature's most formidable, fearless creatures that I ever saw. Well, he utters a knowledgeable message with a deep cavernous expression, and it absolutely demands and insists on your apprehensive attention. I tremble with the nerve rattling monster Harley motorcycle rumble and fearfully want to frantically flee, not wishing at all to fall or stumble. But I sense an archaic, deep, abiding fear of the message I think he has to say. I suspect a depth of knowledge, but I'm still driven desperately to get far, far away. But maybe, perhaps it's possible. I have this Crocs message misconstrued. And these expressions are simply sage words of love, not wishing to be rude. Oh, if we only had the wisdom to understand the crocodile's bold monologue, then we might have the delight and infinite joy of understanding the noble frog. Voice. Well, perhaps the mortal voice could be a joyful expression of oral art, unless these uttering words were void of meaning, not from the heart, if just random raindrops on a barren soil of a cloud-filled sunless day, puffing up little dust clouds and then simply sinking, going away. But if one's words, thoughts, or expressions are comprehended by even a few, it seems to me it would be a wonder, amazing, yet a mystery, even if true. I imagine this temporal, spiritual world of ours could be a much better place if we truly understood one another in word, song, and face to face. So, see, see, if benevolence 
kindness, and gratitude permeate your words too? Folks will listen, smile, and be thankful they heard the real muse in you. Perhaps if we could learn from the crocodile's jaw and the woodpecker's tongue, we might understand all creatures' voices and the songs that were sung. Words in the water, words on the wind, words from the soul, Mother Earth's room, infinite variety without end. So hi, thank you. CCR Shagri here. You are at the brand new YouTube channel. Um, many of you know how this works here with the YouTube. It's a brand new venue concept creation. This is to be gifted to all humankind. That's going to be a bit for you to get your mind around for now. I know it's a very material world, but uh, here you are. You can become a member of the Human Room Open Voice and agree to the principles of involvement, the beginning principles of involvement this is a brand new concept so you know how YouTube works it's all algorithm if you subscribe like uh, you'll understand that as far as the YouTube channel goes as far as becoming a member goes become a member you look at the principles of involvement they are integrity principles they are not questions and answers you're simply creating a level uh, platform for all to participate and together we become a living work of art watching on social media and not going to the zoom meetings is another option you have there this is all free joining free watching free YouTube is free of course if you can help out that would be nice because it does cost and it has been costing this has started 20 years ago it was relaunched almost three months ago it just got its first venue uh, 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 it just happened for the very first time on March 14th. So thank you to Steve for being the first. So you're going to learn to agree to the beginning principles of involvement. They are principles of integrity. You participate in this paradigm art form. You actually are the living work of art simply by being there. The Human Room Open Voice is going to have its own site for now. It's buttonwood.org. So thank you and nothing but gratitude for having someone believe in this so it could be birthed and given to the world. This is the premiere March 14th recording. You're going to understand that there were three levels. So eventually these videos will help you see what the three levels are. It's an organic concept. It will be self-sustaining. It is a brand new format. It's my life work. I've been doing this for a while. Uh, so the membership's free. Uh, it's th the system when it's all up and running will be an entire ecosystem. It will be self-sustaining, but that of course will be up to us. My name's CC Arshagra. As a species on a planet where our freedoms and our voices are being more and more controlled by uh, fear and malevolent, I think making humanity a work of art is a beautiful idea. Thank you.